so I've got this document from Cisco.com uh, called Configuring HSRP and Enhanced Object Tracking. So this is basically uh, as what it says. Uh, you basically configure uh, enhanced object tracking and apply it to uh, into a HSRP group. So I have this topology here. Um, this is what I've been. This is what I used when I talked about HSRP this year. How to how to use HSRP to provide redundancy in a multi-home BGP network. So I'm using the same topology um, because uh, we can use it to basically talk about this particular uh, document. So apparently I have configured HSRP. Uh, so basically, uh, R1 is actually the active uh, router in this case, and R2 is the standby one. So let me just show you the. Let me just show you that. So showing standby brief. So it says here that R1 is active, and R2 should be standby. Yeah, standby. So going back here, uh, I'm going to specifically talk about how you can think, how you can configure ah, uh, uh, how you can configure a track list. So you can configure a track list of objects with a Boolean expression, a weight threshold or a percentage threshold. A track list contains of, contains one or more objects. An object must exist before it can be added to the track list. You can configure a Boolean expression to specify the calculation by using either AND or OR operators. For example, when tracking multiple interfaces using the AND operator, up means that all interfaces are up and down means that at least one interface is down. So this is basically talking about the weight threshold and the percentage threshold. We're not going to talk about um, these in this video. We're just going to talk about how to configure a track list with a Boolean expression. So yeah, configuring it uh, enables calculation enables calculation sorry configuring a track list with a boolean expression enables calculation by using either and or are operators for example when tracking two interfaces using the uh, and operator up means that both interfaces are up and down means that the interface either interface is down so this is how you these are the steps uh, to configure it so yeah, going into just enter the enter global configuration mode and configure a track list object and enter tracking configuration mode. Okay, you can configure from one to one five hundred. So here, a boolean specifies the state of the track list based on a boolean calculation. Uh, and specifies specify that the list is up if all objects are up or down if one or more objects are down. Or specify that the list is up if one object is up or down. Sorry. Specify that the list is up if one object is up or down if all objects are down. And this is, yeah, I'm going to show you uh, in this case, I actually already configured R1 with, I mean, I already configured the track list uh, with a Boolean expression. So let me show you that configuration. So 
helps me here. So this is basically calling IS, uh, calling IS, IPSLE1 and R2 is calling IS, IPSLE2 and I have another track list uh, to yeah so using boolean or and it's calling object one meaning track one and object two meaning track two and I applied this under uh, I applied this in the HSRP group so here uh, standby tracking track 101 which is referring to this track here track list and it will dec decrement the priority to uh, 95 in this case so let's focus on actually here so because that's what we are using in our track list uh, that's the boolean expression that we are using or so yeah let me just show you how you can configure it so track 101 and then list and then my case yeah boolean and we are using or and question mark object so it says here add a tracked object list object and we are calling basically track one in our and track two and calling track two now yeah done that's it. Uh, well, we have to actually create this uh, list. No, sorry. Wait, that's what we just created. So let me show you that config again. So here it is. And this here is, like I said earlier, is applied in the HSRP configuration, which is here. So specify that the list is up if one object is up or down if one if all objects are down. So let me show you the ISP configuration as well. I mean IPSLA configuration. IPSLA our IPSLA is basically it's pinging IPSLA one is pinging this IP address here, which is uh, ISP one here. So one ninety two one sixty eight thirty one dot three, and it's pinging IPSLA two is pinging this IP address here. Look back on R six actually. So let me just show you that interface here. It's pinging that. And yeah. So let me do this IPSLA. So both uh, IPSLA are up. So OK and OK. And let me do show track. Yeah, so we see that track one is up or OK. Yeah, OK, showing OK. And track 10, oh, this is the list. So list boolean or. So up and object one is up, object two is up. So going back here, it says that specify that the list is up if one object is up or down if all objects are down so what I'm going to do is actually go to R6 and shut down loop back 0 
and I will ping that IP address. Yeah, I cannot ping it anymore. So we should see that this is IP IP SLA two. So we should see that track two will be down. Yeah, so IP SLA reachability up to down. So let me do, yeah, so track to reachability is down. So we see that here, we see that object two is down, but boolean or is still up because the one object is still up. So let us actually uh, shut down the interface, the gig zero, gig zero slash zero on IP, ISP1. Shut down. And what we should see is that IPSLA1 will also be down, right? Because uh, the IP address of, yeah, it's, it, it's down. I was going to show you the IPSLA configuration. Where is it? Mm, this one. This one. So IPSLA 1, it's pinging uh, ISP1 into uh, IP address. So we see that uh, this boolean or uh, up and it went down. So it went down basically. And uh, HSRP went from active to speak because of that uh, tracking that we configured in HSRP. So now R1 is standby. Yeah, it's standby. And R2 should be active now. It's active and if we do show track we see that boolean or is down so that is basically what this means so it specified that the uh, list is up if one object is up so in our case all objects are down so that's why the list went down as well so yeah so down, boolean or is down, and it's being tracked by HSRP uh, and applied here in this uh, on this interface. So, yep, that's it. In, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.